body workout. Today we have Katie who will be doing the advanced version of the exercises and Samantha who will be doing some modifications to help you at home. Um, and we're going to be doing a little bit something different today. We're going to do a strength pyramid. So how this works is, is we've got a lower body circuit, an upper body circuit, lower body, and upper body. Each circuit will be done three times. So you've got 60 seconds of each exercise first, 40 seconds of each exercise, 20 of each exercise, and then you move on to the next circuit. So, you guys ready? Yes. Yay! All right, we're going to start our warm up. We're just going to jog. Get those knees up a little bit. Got a lot of fun today. We're going to burn up those muscles. Good, jump move jacks up. And if you're not ready for that yet, you just tap it out. This is cool too. Three, two, one. Very good. Now you're going to come down, stretch it out, and switch. And switch. Get through those hips. I'm always super, super tight right through here, no matter what I do. But this helps. So you're just going to come down, lunge, lunge. Looking good. Three. Two, one, good. We're going to warm up your core with a plank. Option one, you're on your knees, you're reaching forward. Option two, right here. Option three, here. So, Katie's going to move back a little bit. Awesome. And you're on your knees. Good. So, in your plank, even when you're warming up, super important, keep your eyes forward. You don't need your head down. You want to push through your shoulder blades. And Sam is going to move her body this way so that there's still some work to be done on her core, even though she's on her knees. Hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Pop yourself up or walk. You're going to go down to your squat and lift up. Down, lift up. Looking good. Down and up. Three, two, now hold it here. And I want you to rock side to side. So you're moving those hips side to side. Like I said, my hips get tight. Three, two, one. Good. Now we're going to do our pec stretch. Looking good. Get excited. You getting ready? Are you getting ready at home? Woo! All right, rolling back. You know I love this one. Because I'm always tight my shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. So now I'm going to go over the first move of circuit one. You'll take a weight or use no weight. You'll come into a sumo lunge. So I want you nice and low. You're going to come this way a little bit. I want you to see Katie. Good. And then you're going to lift up and down. Lift up and down. All right. 60 seconds. Starting in three, two, go. Good. Good. Let's look at her form. Awesome. So I want you to stay nice and low. Good. Up. Up. It might feel a little awkward, but... Great for the booty. How are we feeling? Good. Good. I want you to get a little lower. I want you to lunge it out like this. Right down here. So straighten that leg. The one that's coming up. Straighten your leg. Come up. Good. So you want to really, you basically squat down and you switch into your lunge. Squat, switch. Now we got it. Good. You've got about five, four, three, two, one. Super good. Tap the floor squats. This whole circuit is upper body. Weights or no weights. You're about shoulder width apart, hip width apart. Pretty much the same thing for me anyway. You're going to come down and up. And go! 60 seconds, come on. Let's see it. So Sam here is not using any weight. That's a perfect option. If you're 
having trouble with your knees, or you don't want to bend this low, just a little tiny bounce will be good too. Good job. Keep that chest high. I hear them breathing. I hear me breathing. Get all the way down. Let me hear you tap. Nice, nice. So tap to the ground helps you engage your abs, your glutes, your hips, your quads, your butt. So on these ones, 
lunge. Really sink your butt back. First move, butt back, tap down, come up. You can slow it down or keep it fast. Five, four, three, two, one. Calf raises 20 seconds. Finish out that circuit and go.
Good job. Don't let it come too far down. Good. She's keeping them nice and high. That's the goal.
breath, control it. You come down, breathe out. 10 seconds, that's it. Four, three, two, one. Good, take those weights. I'm gonna have Katie come right here. You're just gonna touch this weight. Come up, and come up. Good, same for Sam. And I will do the freak show because I get breaks. All right, ready? Go. Down, up, down, up. You might get that leg as straight as possible. So you come down and you push up. Push up. Use that glute. Good. Good job. Use that breath. Here's your final strength circuit. We've got upper body. We've got bend over rows to start. We're going to go right away. We've got 60 seconds on the clock. In three, two, go. So your row, you want to bend, stick your butt back. Your chin is in neutral, so you don't want to be reaching or dropped. You want to be right forward. Sam, you can come up a little bit. Good. To make this easier, obviously just alternate or take breaks as you need to because we're 60 seconds of work right here. No swinging, no swinging. Katie, are you getting tired? I hope so. All right, lay down a little bit more with that body. You squeeze up, down, squeeze up, down. Good, good. She does a lot of cardio. 
cardio with me, so this is a little bit of a shock, right? Yes. Like, what? <laughs> what is the strength <laughs> stuff? And she's super strong, super fit. This is a hard workout. Ten seconds. Good job. Keep that chin down. Keep that chin. You want to stick that butt back. Good. Roll it out. This is what she gets for choosing the advanced version. And we're done. Very good. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> advanced version people. All right, bicep curls. So option one, you're here, you're alternating. What you roll your shoulders back, alternate. Okay, option two, nice. Okay, so either way, we're happy. We're going for 60 seconds in three, two, go. Good. And we don't want to swing, we want to still keep it nice and tight, nice and slow. How you big, build bigger muscles is you want to go slow up, slow down, slow up. So now a lot of times people think they'll go up and then drop, slow up and then drop. But no, we want to really keep those arms tight the whole time we're doing this exercise. If you get tired, alternate for me. Good job. You got a good alternate. Bring those a little closer together. So you're going to go not so far out to the sides, you're going to keep them straight. 20 seconds left. Use your breath. They've been working super hard. If you're at this point, you're like, Lauren, if you don't stop doing this to me, I'm leaving. Please don't leave. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. So good, so good. All right, now we have our upright row. This is the last part of the circuit. You're gonna widen your legs a little bit. Looking good. And you're gonna reach up with your weights and back down. Option, alternate or light weights, or you can use a can of beans. That works too. All right, three, two, go. 60 seconds. The key here, I don't want you to sacrifice your form. So if you're tired, alternate. Drop the weights, do what you need. We're not here to get injured, we're here to work. Good, you almost want to climb up your body and back down. Back down. How are we feeling? Looking good. You're still smiling. There we go. <laughs> I even got a wink. Maybe it's not hard enough. Just kidding. 20 seconds. <laughs> good, get those shoulders nice and high. Let's see, I'm looking so good, Katie. I'm so proud of you. Sam. You too. Nice. Very nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Back to the top. We've got bent over rows. 40 seconds now. Stick your butt back. Good. Tighten those abs. Butt back more. And you're going to roll forward and come up. 40 seconds here. So if you're not, if you're feeling like your back's working too much, don't bend as much. Be more like Katie here. She's going to stick her glutes back though. And row. Very good. Good job. Perfect. Yeah, my knees look great. Keep those hips back. Keep them back. Good. They want to creep up, don't they? But you're not going to let them because you're too strong. Stick them down. One, so good. Bicep curls. You ready? Three, two, go. Good. Alternating or doing both at the same time. No matter what you do, don't swing. Okay? You don't want our backs opening up like that. It's not good for you. 20 seconds. Looking good. And if you get so buff in this program that you have to add additional weights to your collection, I'm sorry, but you'll thank me later. Five, four, three, two, one. Upright row. Are we ready to go right away? Right away? Yeah? Okay, awesome. Ready, set, go. 
Get them nice and high. I'll give you a tiny break in between this one and the next one. Where's that smile? I'm counting on it. 20. Woo! You got 10. Good, lift them up. Climb up that body and hold it. Climb up that body and hold it. Squeeze the shoulder blades and relax. Awesome. Drop the weights for a sec. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch in those hands. They might be a little tight. Sometimes your forearms start to get to work and do you feel them? Forearms. Forearm fatigue. So much fun. So we've got 20 seconds. We're going to finish this out. Then we've got a treat for you. And then we're done. All right. Bent over rows. 20 seconds. Sticking those hips back. Squeezing the shoulders. And go. You're still going to bend forward. There you go. Looking good. Bend forward. Looking good. Bend up the waist more. Go forward. Hands up. Yep. Good. And then you can drop down a little bit. There we go. Roll those shoulders back. Oh, we're done! Sorry if we got an extra bonus five or so. It's a great workout anyway. Bicep curls. We're going to go for 20. And go. Good. I want to see them both up for 20. Come on, you got this. Finish it out. Go so fast. Ah, maybe not. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Upright rows. This is it. This is it. We are ready to be done with our upper body. Upright rows in three, two, one. If you want to sound all tough and snap your weights together, you can. Oh, that was really an accident the first time. Oh, get them up. Get them up. Alternate if you need to. Three, two, one. Drop those weights. Drop them. All right, we've got a quick burnout section for you today. Optional, of course. First move. So everything's going to be 30 seconds each move. First one, optional one, lunge to squat. Or... It's going to feel nasty after 30 seconds. So we got that, right leg, left leg. Then we got a fast feet drop. So we'll go fast feet. When I say drop, you drop, then come up, come up. If you don't like that, just fast feet for me. No need to drop. Mountain timers, option one, option two, and then burpees. We'll go through all this over again. So we're going to start with our 30 second lunge to squat in three, two, and go. So you lunge, then you squat. Then you lunge, then you squat. Good. Come this way, Katie. Don't need to run it into anything. Can't break my Barbies over here. I just play with them. We can do what I want. Just kidding. Right? Come on. Finish it. If you need to, remember. Lunge, squat. Lunge, squat. Take a little break. We've got the other side. We're going in three, two, and one. Lunge and squat. Go. Options. Lunge, squat. Katie, can you show them the option? You just squat, lunge back. No hop. Good.
Remember why you did this today and go do good things.